So you just got the Eero Wi-Fi system by Amazon and now you want to set your Eero Wi-Fi system and get online as soon as possible. Fortunately, unlike any other Wi-Fi devices, setting up your Eero only takes a few minutes. So without any further delay, let me show you how you can set up and connect your Eero Wi-Fi system to your network and get it up and running. The first thing that you need to do is unplug your modem and your router from power and disconnect their Ethernet cable and anything that's connected to them. After you have done that, take your Eero device and grab the Ethernet cable that's included. Now you can connect your Eero to either your modem or your access point or Wi-Fi router. We'll connect it to one of our access points and the other end of the Ethernet cable will go into one of the Ethernet ports at the back of our Eero device. After they're connected, grab the included adapter, then we'll plug in the Type-C interface into our Eero, and after that, first we'll connect the Eero to power, then we'll go ahead and connect our modem and router back to internet and power. Now that all the devices are turned on, and your Eero device connected, your Eero will boot up with a white flashing LED which will turn blue eventually. This means it's now ready to set up. And as I've told you before, setting up Eero is very simple. You don't even need any browser. All you need to do is open Google Play Store or Apple's App Store and then search for Eero. Tap on the Eero Wi-Fi system and install it. Also, after the Eero app is installed, make sure to turn on mobile data on your smartphone or connect it to a different Wi-Fi. Because while set up, the network your Eero device is connected to may go down. Now go ahead and open the Eero app. Then you'll need to sign in to Eero. If you have an existing Amazon account, you can select already have an account and sign in with Amazon or you can also sign in with your Eero account's email or phone number. We'll just go with Amazon and sign in using your email and password. After we're signed in, we'll tap on Start Setup and allow any Bluetooth or location permission that it asks for. And after that, you'll get some prompts to start the setup process, which we have already done. So we'll just skip this and then hit Allow and it will start looking for our Eero device. And as you can see, it has found our Eero in a fraction of a second. And now we'll need to select a room that our Eero is situated in. You can also name a custom location. Then the last step will be giving your Eero Wi-Fi network a name and a password. Then hit create network. Then your Eero will go through a small setup process, which will take only a few seconds and then your Eero is ready to use. And on your Eero, you will see a white solid LED. And after that, if you have other Eero devices, you can just add them by tapping on add another Eero device. We'll just gonna tap on finish setup and we're done. Now you'll just need to allow a few more permissions and then your Eero Wi-Fi system will be up and running. And as you can see, our smartphone is already connected to our new Eero Wi-Fi network. So that's how simple it is to set up a Euro Wi-Fi system. If you found this useful, you can drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more Euro guides.